serverless the whole technology world is talking about serverless have you ever worked in main or man stack or have you been working in main or man stack and have wondered whether mongodb offers serverless uh, database or not so in case you have wondered about that and in case you are wondering that what is serverless right then you will be amazed to know that mongodb has serverless offering also so in this video i am going to show you that how mongodb serverless works whether you need any kind of server or not where to run this mongodb serverless whether you want to run it on local host or you have to go to somewhere else to run mongodb serverless so all this i am going to cover here and what would be the pricing of mongodb serverless that also i am going to cover in this video so what will be the amount which you have to pay in case you go with serverless in terms of reads writes does mongodb really maintain server somewhere or not and in case you are using aws azure gcp or any other cloud provider will you be able to still use mongodb serverless what would happen in case of backup in case you want to take your backup what would be the charges what would be the security all these questions i am going to answer in this video let us start so first of all let me show you the pricing of mongodb serverless so here you can type mongodb pricing serverless pricing so here you can see that view pricing just like other serverless databases like aws dynamo db mongodb has also started providing serverless databases and the cost is also more or less on the similar lines to dynamo db and please note that this costing which i am going to show you is as of date as on the recording date so please refer whenever you are planning to start your mongodb serverless uh, development okay so read processing unit so read processing unit is means if we are going to read data which is say 10 kb 20 kb as a response to the query then you are charged one rpu for each document read up to 4 kb it is exactly similar to what dynamo db offers or for each index read so in case you are going to hit a database query there and the return response is 20 kb long or 22 kb long then you will be charged 6 rpu units 6 read processing units and the pricing for the read processing unit is dollar 0.30 for the first 5 million per day daily rpu tiers like next 20 million this much next 50 millions this much next 100 millions this much you can imagine that in case your database is not used extent extensively or it is having only 5 millions or less than that then it will be this much cost per day and if you multiply it by the number of days in a month you will see that it is far lesser than uh, you pay for the server based instances and moreover there is no headache of maintaining the servers making sure the availability and all those things so write processing unit storage these are the charges right 1.25 dollar per million storage is this much and backup is this much data transfer right so this is about the pricing now you are convinced that yes mongodb serverless could be the way forward for you to proceed right so in that case first let me tell you that you will have to go to mongodb atlas if you have not signed up in atlas please signed up by clicking here or enter your details and log in to this so i am logging into this now if you see i have logged into this mongodb atlas and now i'm going to create a database build a database it will ask me 
three options serverless dedicated or shared so because i am going to show you a demo of serverless let, let me create serverless here serverless again if you see here serverless preview it is in preview state but it will soon be in the actual offering as well aws gcp azure let me show you this aws one you can select multiple regions which region you want your serverless to be deployed name of this serverless instance and create instance now it has started creating this serverless please note that you will be asked for your credit card or debit card information also because i have not been asked because my credit card information is already saved in my uh, mongodb account so that is why it has started creating this serverless instance so i am pausing this video and will resume once the serverless instance is deployed and after that i will show you how to connect to this serverless instance from my mongodb compass as you can see that our cluster is up and running now it is in the running state rather i would say that it is a serverless right so there is no charge until and unless we read or write or data is transferred or data is stored right we will pay only for that component in case we are reading we will pay only for reading writing right data storage also i have showed you the charges for that let us go to database access on the left hand side panel and see this user and password this is how we want to connect to this serverless instance edit password i want to create a show this is the password okay i will copy it save it somewhere now i will go back to network access and i will allow the access to add either add current ip address or allow any where so for now this is done please don't configure this setting in your production environment or the environment where you want to have only restricted access okay so database click on connect and connect using mongodb compass or you can use mongo shell connect your application also i am using mongodb compass this is the url which i have to copy i have copied it closed it now i am going to show you how to connect to this instance using mongodb compass we will create couple of collections also and then do read and write operations also from mongodb compass open mongodb compass paste the user name or the connection string which you have copied from here okay click connect please remember that the setting is allow access from anywhere please note that after updating the users or network setting wait for the deployment completion it is saying we are deploying your changes right so please wait for this to be confirmed then only please try to connect it otherwise you will get an error here you can see that it is still in progress it has connected now it is loading and that's it now let us create a database here serverless db collection name serverless or let us say i will collect users collection and then create database serverless db is created users collection is created now let us add some data here insert document i want to insert a document i want to add a json like you can say user name neeraj active and insert it now you can see that this has been created 
if I disconnect and reconnect so this is my serverless connection I will reconnect it and we'll see that the data still exists there so with serverless basically it is pay as we use now let us visit this serverless instance on mongodb atlas and see the collections here and you can see that it has retrieved the database as well as the collection also right so we can perform any queries so i hope you have found this video useful which talks about mongodb serverless please don't hesitate to post your questions in the comment section of this video i will be more than glad to assist you and in the end thank you so much for patiently watching this video thank you so much and see you in my next video Thank you.